26 people, including six adults and 26 and seven-year-old students, were shot and killed as class was in session inside the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut on December 4th. On October 9th, 2012, 14-year-old Pakistani women's rights activist Malala was shot in the head by a gunman on her way home from school. The Taliban on April 15, 2013, two pressure cooker bombs went off near the finish line of the 117th Boston Marathon, wounding more than 260 people and killing three spectators, including eight-year-old Martin Richard. Four days later, on April 2nd of 2014, a gunman opened fire with a semi-automatic weapon at Fort Hood in Texas, killing three people and wounding several others before taking his own life. One of the three soldiers killed was Army Sergeant Danny Ferguson. He died a hero. On the nights of April 14th and 15th of 2014, in the town of Chibok in northeastern Nigeria, militant group Boko Haram abducted 276 girls between the ages of 16 and 18. The girls were abducted as they attended a government secondary school. On November 14th, 2015, a Kremlin terrorist attack killed 129 people and injured 352 in the city of Paris. The attack was one of the most deadly terrorist atrocities in the western capital city since September 11, 2001. The a gun battle erupted inside a Planned Parenthood Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado on Friday, November 27, 2015. A man armed with an assault-style rifle opened fire and began shooting at officers as they were rushed to the scene. Authorities reported that three people were killed, a police officer and two civilians. Nine were also wounded before the suspect finally surrendered more than five hours after the first shots were fired. December 2nd, 2015. As students in Holbrook, Massachusetts, presents for Holbrook Santa, two suspects opened fire in San Bernardino, California at a holiday party in Inland Regional Center. The attack killed We have traveled through the South Pole against the backdrop of the world, which has continually assaulted with random acts of violence. You'll never know how or what the next connection to the next headline will be. However, we have great hope that we can spread the message of peace and tolerance, which will act as inspiration to the Holbrook community and beyond. Malala recovered from the attack on her life and went on to receive the Nobel Peace Prize at age 16. She has said, I truly believe that the only way we can create global peace is through not only educating our minds, but our hearts and souls. One child, one book, one pen can change the world. We take our inspiration from children who, like Martin Richard, were caught in the fallout of hate, conflict, and violence. Joseph lost his father, who was a firefighter in the World Trade Center attack. He had this message for the children of Paris. Smile, show your teeth, and love life. That is the best attack you can have on a terrorist group. When people see you, they should see hope, not tragedy. A sixth grade Japanese girl named Sariko was exposed to radiation poisoning and contracted leukemia after the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Her message to other children from her hospital room, making 1,000 paper cranes. This is our cry, this is our prayer, peace in the world. We have partnered with the Generation on the Martin Richard Foundation to show the world that in response to this endless tra tragedy, we must be peaceful and kind. This campaign has rallied people from all over the world to spread Martin's message, no more hurting people, peace. Over 1,000 children have participated and the message has been shared over 57 million times on social media. And Holbrook Civics Club has started the Bulldogs Build Bridges campaign. Bulldogs are building bridges in Holbrook and beyond. Please join us to help achieve Martin's dream. No!